solving quadratic equations that are not written in standard form. Like for example, number 1, solve x times the quantity of x minus 5 is equal to 36. Now, uh, is the equation already in standard form? Well, of course, it's not because our standard form, it follows with ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So if we would have this uh, equation, we are going to simplify the expression first. So as we simplify, we have to distribute x to the quantity of x minus 5. So that would come out that x squared, x times negative 5, you would have therefore negative 5x equals 36. Now right after there, we are now going to uh, apply subtraction property of equality so that 36 will be transferred on the other side. So that becomes x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. Now looking into our equation this time, x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0, was it already in standard form? Yes, of course, it is now in standard form. This is now the time that you're going to find the values of our x. You can use any of the four methods that we've been used in solving quadratic equations. So you can have uh, completing the square, extracting square root, factoring, or even you could use using the quadratic formula. So as of this moment, let's just make use of factoring. So we have here, okay, so we will factor this side here. So for the factors, you would have x, x, and for the factors of 36, you would have therefore 9 and 4. So we have 9 and 4. So make sure that when you're going to factor out the product of 36, that uh, the product 9 and 4 will be 36. And if you're going to combine them together, it should be the answer is negative 5. So therefore, our sign would gonna be negative 9 and positive 4. Is that clear? Now, proceed to zero product property. So each factors shall be equated to 0. So you would have x minus 9 is equal to 0. On the other side, x plus 4 is equal to 0. And since we're looking for the value of our x, so we have to transfer negative 9 to the other side. So as we transfer, we apply addition property of equality. So that's why it becomes positive 9. Okay. On the other side, positive 4 will be transferred on the other side. So x therefore becomes negative, negative 4. Okay. Right. Now, so you have now the values of our x could be x sub 1 is equal to 9 and x sub 2 is equal to negative 4. Remember to check whether the obtained values of x would really make the equation true. So you have to double check. So just make use of these values 9 and negative 4 and su uh, substitute that one to the original equation. To check that we are really sure of our answer, we have 9 and negative 4, so we'll do the checking. So let's just make use of these values. So substitute, let's say this would be 9, 9. So therefore 9 minus 5, you would have 4. 4 times 9, you will definitely get 36. Okay, now how about if it is negative 4? So negative 4 minus 5. So you would have it there, negative 9. So negative 9 times negative 4, you will have positive 36. So we are now sure that our values really, we have 9 and negative 4. Okay, let's now proceed with the second example. Find the roots of the equation, the quantity square of x plus 5 plus the quantity square of x minus 2 is equal to 37. Now, is the equation already formed or transformed into standard form? Well, of course, it's not. So, to transform that equation into standard form, let us first simplify this binomial here and so with this one. 
Okay? So, we have here, we have to apply the square of a binomial. So, therefore, to simplify, square the first term, which is our x. So, that is x squared. And twice the product of the first and the second. So, 2 times x. So, you have 2x times 5. You would have, therefore, 10x. Okay. Next, square the last term, which is 5. So, that would be 5 squared, a total of 25. Okay, plus, let's proceed to this binomial here. x squared minus 2. So, square the first term, you would have x squared. Then, twice the product of the first term and the second term. So, therefore, you would have negative 4x. And, square the last term, we have negative 2. So, you would have plus 4 is equal to 37. So right here, if there are some terms that can be still uh, can be combined, so let us now combine them together. So from there, we have x square and x square. So this would gonna be 2x square. And 10x and negative 4x, so you would have 6x. 25 and 4, you would have also as 20. 9 equals 37 so next thing that you're going to do is that you're going to combine also 37 on the other side to make the equation into standard form so from there you have 2x squared plus 6x plus 29 so you're going to transfer that one what's gonna happen this would becomes negative 37 is equal to 0 so what is 29 minus 37 so the answer is 8. So you have 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 is equal to 0. So from here, we'll now apply the uh, uh, I mean factoring for us to find the values of our x. So let's use factoring. So right here. Okay, what are the factors of 2x squared? So, we would have 2x and x. And for the factors of 8, you would have 4 and 2. So, 4 and 2. So, right there, this would gonna be negative and this will be positive. So, to double check, 2x times x, you would have that 2x squared. 2x times 4, you would have 8x. Then, negative 2 times x, you would have negative 2x. So, positive 2, uh, 8x minus 2x, you will get a positive of 6x. And negative 2 plus times 4 rather, you would have negative 8. So, we will now proceed to zero product property. So, let's equate 2x, uh, 2x minus 2 and x plus 4 to 0. So, that becomes 2x minus 2 equals 0 on the other side, x plus 4 is equal to 0 so we're looking for the value of our x so we'll transfer negative 2 on the other side so that becomes 2x equals positive 2 so divide both sides by 2 by 2 so x therefore is equal to 1 and on the other hand we have x is equal to negative 4 so these are the values that we are looking for x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 4. Right, so we have the values now. We have x is equal to 1 and negative 4. But we really want to know if it's really true that these two values here are the real values that we are looking for. So let's do the checking. So let's say x is equal to 1. So substitute that one to the original equation you have there. x plus 5 square plus x minus 2 quantity square is equal to 37 so you have 1 plus 5 square and 1 minus 2 square equals 37 so from there 1 plus 5 you would have 6 so 6 square and 1 minus 2 is 1 square negative 1 rather equals 37 so what is 6 square that gives you 36 plus negative 1 square you would have 1 a total of 37 so from there you get 37 is equal to 37 so meaning to say the value of our 
x which is 1 is really that we uh, the value that we are looking for now how about our uh, second value so we have x is equal to negative 4 so substitute negative 4 to the original equation so let's go with directly you have negative 4 plus 5 square plus negative 4 minus 2 square equals 37 so we are not sure with that one yet so negative 4 plus 5 you will get positive 1 square plus negative 4 and minus 2 rather you would have there negative 6 square so equals 37 so simplify you would have 1 what is negative 6 square so that is 36 equals 37 so right there 1 plus 36 you will definitely have 37 equals 37 so from there we are now very very much sure that the values of our x are 1 and negative 4